In the high-stakes world of artificial intelligence, speed is everything, and whoever controls the chips controls the future. For years, NVIDIA's dominance has been unquestionable. Its GPUs, the engines behind AI models like ChatGPT, Gemini, and Stable Diffusion, have powered a trillion-dollar revolution. But something historic is happening right now. For the first time ever, NVIDIA's most advanced AI chip, the Blackwell GPU, is being manufactured on U.S. soil. This is more than just a production milestone, it's a symbol of America's return to the front lines of semiconductor innovation. is isn't just consuming cutting-edge technology anymore, it's beginning to build it again. For decades, the story of chipmaking has been one of offshoring and dependency. The most advanced semiconductors, the ones that power everything from iPhones to data centers, were built thousands of miles away, in ultra-secure facilities in Taiwan and South Korea. The United States, once a semiconductor superpower, watched its manufacturing dominance fade as companies chased lower costs overseas. But that dependency came at a price. The 2020 global chip shortage exposed just how fragile the supply chain had become. Suddenly, car factories shut down, smartphone production slowed, and even the world's biggest tech companies realized that a single disruption in Asia could bring the entire digital economy to a standstill. And so began one of the largest technological pivots in modern history, the US semiconductor renaissance. At the center of this shift stands NVIDIA's Blackwell chip, a masterpiece of engineering named after mathematician David Blackwell. It represents not only the next leap in AI performance, but also a strategic turning point for American industry. The Blackwell GPU is the successor to NVIDIA's already legendary Hopper series, but its architecture takes things to an entirely new level. It's built for training and running. Massive AI models, the kind that require trillions of parameters and consume megawatts of energy. NVIDIA claims that the Blackwell can deliver up to 25 times more performance per watt than its predecessor, a staggering leap that could redefine what's possible in data centers. So where is this engineering marvel being made? Not in Taiwan, not in South Korea, but right in the heart of the Arizona desert. In October 2025, NVIDIA and its longtime partner TSMC Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company unveiled the first wafer of the Blackwell chip produced at TSMC's brand new Arizona fabrication plant. This facility is one of the most advanced chip fabs ever built on American soil, a result of years of investment, billions in funding, and intense government pressure through the Chips and Science Act. Inside that Arizona fab, extreme ultraviolet EUV lithography machines from ASML, each costing over $200 million, etch transistor patterns smaller than a single strand of DNA. Each wafer holds hundreds of tiny dyes, and every one of them has the potential to become the brain of a supercomputer. But manufacturing Blackwell chips in the U.S. wasn't just a business decision, it was a strategic move in a new kind of global arms race, the race for AI dominance. Behind the polished headlines and sleek product launches, there's an invisible war unfolding between nations. AI chips are now seen as the most critical infrastructure of the 21st century, more important than oil even more powerful than traditional weapons. The country that controls the chip supply controls the digital battlefield. For years, the US relied heavily on Asian manufacturing while maintaining control of chip design. Nvidia, AMD, and Intel designed their chips in America, but sent them overseas for production. Meanwhile, China has been aggressively building its own semiconductor independence, investing hundreds of billions into domestic fabrication. So, when NVIDIA and TSMC announced the first U.S. made Blackwell wafer, it wasn't just about technology, it was about national security. A message to the world that America was ready to build again. To understand why this matters, we need to look at what makes Blackwell different from anything before it. Traditional GPUs are incredibly powerful, but they were originally designed for gaming. Over time, NVIDIA adapted them for deep learning and AI workloads. Blackwell, however, was built for AI from the ground up. It uses advanced 3 nanometer process technology, one of the smallest and most efficient transistor designs in history. It integrates two massive dyes connected with an ultra-fast NVLink interface, allowing them to function as a single chip with near-zero latency. This innovation means that AI models that once required hundreds of GPUs can now be trained on a fraction of the hardware at lower cost and energy consumption. In simple terms, Blackwell is the engine of the next AI revolution. From self-driving cars to real-time translation, from humanoid robotics to quantum-inspired computing. But let's not forget the iPhone, Tesla, and even ChatGPT all depend on chips built overseas. So, this US-based production marks a major inflection point. It signals a reshoring of high-end technology, 
one that could shift trillions of dollars in global supply chains. NVIDIA's move comes alongside similar efforts by Intel, Samsung, and Micron, all of which are ramping up U.S. production. The Biden administration has pledged more than $50 billion subsidies through the CHIPS Act, aiming to bring chip manufacturing back home and reduce America's dependence on Asia. And yet, even with this progress, the road ahead is not easy. Building advanced chips in the U.S. costs far more than in Taiwan. Skilled labor is scarce. Supply chains for chemicals, wafers, and precision parts are still heavily globalized. Experts say it will take at least a decade before America can reach self-sufficiency in semiconductor manufacturing. But make no mistake, this is the beginning of a new era. NVIDIA's Blackwell production is not just a technological milestone, it's a geopolitical statement. It shows that America can still lead, innovate, and manufacture at the highest level. And for NVIDIA, it's also about control. By producing in the U.S., the company gains tighter control over its supply chain and protection against export restrictions that might limit its global sales. After all, Washington has recently imposed severe restrictions on advanced chip exports to China, and NVIDIA has been forced to redesign some of its products for compliance. Producing locally gives NVIDIA flexibility, security, and leverage in an increasingly fragmented global market. Behind the scenes, this shift also benefits companies like TSMC, ASML, and Applied Materials, the unseen players that make this possible. TSMC's Arizona Fab is just one piece of a vast puzzle of suppliers, engineers, and logistics networks that span continents. ASML's machines, built in the Netherlands, enable the extreme precision needed for modern chips. And companies like Tokyo Electron and LAM Research contribute critical tools for etching, deposition, and cleaning each process more precise than surgery. So, while NVIDIA's Blackwell may carry an American label, it's still the product of global collaboration, a reminder that in the world of semiconductors, no nation truly builds alone. As AI continues to evolve, demand for chips like Blackwell will skyrocket. Data centers across US, from Microsoft's Azure Farms to Amazon Web Services and Google Cloud are racing to secure these GPUs to power their AI models. Analysts estimate that Nvidia could generate over $200 billion in AI chip revenue within the next few years, driven largely by the Blackwell platform. But perhaps the biggest story is not the chip itself, it's what it represents. It's a story of resilience, reinvention, and rebirth. A country that once led the semiconductor revolution lost its way and is now clawing its way back to the top. The Blackwell chip, etched in Arizona's desert dust, stands as a symbol of that comeback. Because in the age of artificial intelligence, power isn't just measured in megawatts or dollars, it's measured in nanometers and the fight for every one of them has just begun.